Hey you guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm done. I'm really tired, so if you see smudge mascara, don't be scared. <laughs> um, I finished, I started my yarn braids to officially Tuesday morning at like 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning, I started them. And um, I know I initially said I was going to do four, four in the middle, four strands in the middle, three strands in the front. I found that my hair, even though it looks really coarse and curly and coily, um, my hair is very fine and fragile. So I was only able to put two on, two strands of yarn on the edges and three strands of yarn on my actual hair, on the middle of my hair, where it's fuller at. Um, and I would say I have a decent length. Um, what I did was wrap the yarn around my chair and I cut it in half and I just used that, that, that half. And then I, um... I folded the long, I don't know, I didn't even measure how many inches that is. I'll have to do that another night. I'm tired right now, but. Um, I folded those in half and I just braided all the way down. So, they're pretty long, as you can see. Let me take it down. Yeah, they're really. They're really long. I don't know if you guys can see it, like, it's like right here. Little back punch. And, um, I like them long. I got them long for a reason. I did them long for a reason so I can do more styles with them as far as updos or whatnot. And, um, everybody likes them. Everybody likes them. They say they like dreads. They like locks. Locks. I don't want to say dreads. Locks. And what I did for the ends, I tied them up and then trimmed them off and then sealed them in hot water, steaming hot water. Because it tell you not to put these in the dryer, not to put the yarn in the dryer or to burn it because it will burn. So I kind of, I sealed it with boiling water. And, um, I wish to end, I probably got to find a new technique. Or, when I next time, like, see these right here, like, really frayed. So maybe I'll try, like, sew, like, sewing, sewing thread, like you do for your sewing with your weave thread to wrap it around it. I don't know, I'll try, I'll play around it with some more. Because I don't like chopping it off, because it looks, to me, it doesn't look natural. But everybody likes it. My husband likes it of all people. My mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, um, my sister, my family hasn't seen it yet because they're in Georgia and I'm in California. So, <laughs> hey y'all, y'all seeing it now. I'm sure y'all like it too. But I actually do have a couple of pictures about of how I wore the style today. I got this idea from um, Shanta. I'm sorry. I know her name Shanta. <laughs> she gave me the idea. Um... You guys should check her out. So I should, I'll try to post a link. I don't know how to do that, y'all. I'm all YouTube illiterate, but <laughs> she, she, um, did a really quick updo style that she didn't use, um, any, any pins or anything, but I reversed it. I did what, like, work for my hair because my hair, because it's so long and, and full, it was kind of bulky. So I had to create a style that worked for me. And um, it was really cute. I got a lot of compliments. I liked it. Um, my husband liked it, which is important. Because <laughs> he's the one who has to look at me. And um, it's basically it. It's, oh, yeah. And I didn't finish. Okay, I started at 10 o'clock that morning. And I didn't finish till like 1230 the next day. The only reason it took me that long is because I have kids. And my husband was out of town taking the bar. Well, he wasn't out of town. He was taking the bar in. So... I didn't really have help with the kids, so it took me a long time, but I like this hair. Uh, I got the yarn. It was Red Heart Yarn from Walmart for like $2.47, and then I bought some um, pipe cleaners. I want to try to curl the dread, the locks with pipe cleaners. I saw a tutorial on that, so I definitely try to do a tutorial when I do it. I'll try it out first. Like Now that I know how, how to do these, I'll do a tutorial on these, because after about a month and a half, I'm probably going to take them down and redo them. But after about two or three weeks, I would do the front and the edges, and then I, you know, so they won't start looking peachy. But this is my first time ever braiding, like, a full head of hair. I know I did my bohemian curl, but I just did the front for that, and maybe a couple of, in a couple of track, uh, a couple of braids in the back, but this, I did my entire head. And, um, it came out really nice. I like it. I think it frames my face very well, so. Sometime in the near future, locks might be there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just enjoying my natural hair right now. Um, how I started this, I bought this hair, I bought this yarn like this time last year when I was first transitioning, I was looking up a bunch of different protective styles and I never got around to doing it. So I was looking for, I was looking at my, my stash of hair 
Yes, I have a stash of hair. Um, and also, I don't want to do wigs. I don't want to do sewing. Let me, I want some braids. Do I have any synthetic hair? So I went to my closet, looked for some synthetic hair, and I didn't have any. <laughs> I was going to do cornrows, so I didn't have any. So I said, fine. I said, oh, yarn. That's right. Let me try this yarn really quickly. So I use um, just two things to braid my hair. I use aloe vera gel. The Fruit of the Earth aloe vera gel and Carol's Daughter Lock Butter. It smells wonderful. And because, you know, the, the yarn is fabric, the smell stays in the fabric. So, <laughs> this is it. It's like $16. Um, I bought it for my son. Then I discovered Comet Biologic. So, it smells wonderful, you guys. So, um, that's what I'll use for my locks. <laughs> so, that's basically it. If I, if anyone has any questions or concerns, just. Leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you guys. Thanks. Bye.